Where can we find the sent items from the group? I forwarded an email and I can't see where the sent items are. That's interesting. So I'm assuming this person is talking about emails sent to a group email address. To access groups, you go to groups.google.com with your business domain. I don't know if you can create a business email account from here. You may need to do that from the admin console using directory and then groups, but hey, just for the fun of it, let's see if we can create a group from here. Test email, right? So, okay, it's given me a group email address here and uh, I'm gonna use my testgenius.co email address. So it's actually giving me the, uh, the settings here, which appear to be mapped to the settings in the admin panel. I'm gonna go and check after I've created this. Who can search for the group? Yep, I'll just leave that to organization. I don't want that to be on the web. Who can join the group? Anyone in the organization can uh, ask. Who can view conversations? Oh, probably only group members. Who can post? Well, if I wanna allow this to be accessible to people to send me emails from the web, so send me emails from public, I'll say, all right, anyone in the web can post and who can view the members, I generally leave that one as entire organization, just so everyone in the company can see. If this group is invited to a calendar event together, I want people to be able to expand that list of users and see who's actually in the group. That makes things easy. Okay, group members, all right, so I've got myself. I'm not gonna add anyone else because that just annoys my team. They get confused with me sending random messages. Okay, subscription, each email. Okay, so this is if you're a member of the group, let's say it's I've got a group, feedback at itgenius.com, right? So if a customer is having a really bad time and they've tried escalating things internally with our team, they can email that feedback account and it goes to our head of growth, it goes to our CEO and it goes to me. So I wanna see every single email, so I set my settings to uh, each email there, but you can also get you know digests and those more summarized versions of the emails coming into this mailbox. Okay test sending email okay and we can go to our group here okay cool so what we want to do in a group is first up we're going to send an email to the group right so i'll send an internal email here now let's send it to the group and i'll call that test one right so that'll be my first email going to the group and then it wouldn't hurt for me to send an email from my external email address as well so test two and let me send an email from here wonderful okay we should have in our group some emails coming in now they're called conversations when you're in this group mode here i'll wait for those to come through they shouldn't take too long but while we're waiting let's go into the admin console and we'll just check our permission settings on these groups test sending email there we go okay wonderful Okay, so we have group information here, group email, and what I really want actually is the permissions. Here we go, access type. Okay, great. So it's it's pretty much mimicked the permissions that I usually like to set. So usually what I will do is I'll come in here, I'll click restricted, I'll add the entire organization can view members. And if I don't want anyone outside the company to email, I'll remove the ability for external to reach out to any group owners. In this case, we are sharing this one with the world. So we wanna make sure that external can post. It means that people can uh, can go ahead and post. You can see here it's respected my settings. Anyone in the organization can ask to join. And uh, it didn't give us the option, but if you wanna let people outside your company join, you gotta tick this box here, allow members outside your organization to join the group. It means that anyone with a Gmail account can actually join into your group. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna give this a Good old refresh, so you can see here, posting is open to external, but pretty much everything else is locked down and we've uh, let the whole business view members. They're my standard group settings for a security group, but security groups double as a distribution list, meaning anyone can send an email if you so allow. Okay, so let's do a refresh here. All right, wonderful. So both of our tests have come through. So we've got test one here, and then we've got test two here, and we've got the test. So any group that you are a part of should show up here in my groups. If you've got uh, email enabled for that group and you're able to send an email to it, which I don't think you can turn off unless you change the permissions so that you know group owners can't um, even email to the group. Pretty much any group that you've got inside Workspace, you're gonna see in the groups service. So groups.google.com is where you're gonna find all of these. Now, if I go to my production domain, you'll see all the groups that I'm a part of here. Track team, board, IT admins, 
up level it's our uh, social uh, corporate social responsibility initiative so we've got all these groups that i'm uh, available for here and i can click into any of these and start seeing messages probably mostly calendar invites to be honest that's what we use most of these for but here i've got my sending email group so i've received my two emails that makes sense now how will i see emails sent from the group that's what i assume this person is asking about here so we need to send something from the group now there's multiple ways we can send the group so we can go reply all from the group service here and say here is a reply right it's pretty straightforward and this is going to show up in a conversation style or forum style message thread so it looks a little bit like what your gmail inbox looks like in that you have your first message that's come in in this case from the cut it's actually from myself and then the group has sent another message but it's it's been sent by me so it's actually sending from my email address as well now when i hit reply all there's a few different options of how i can send messages i can also if i wish choose to send from the group email address check that out so i can say test sending email and i can say here is a reply from the group email cool so i can post message it's a bit weird but anyway that's now sent it from the group email so this is where you see where emails are sent you just see them as conversations you open the conversation sorry here's the one you open the conversation and two new messages down the bottom we've got the original message and then we've got my first reply which was me and then we've got a reply from the group email that's effectively where you see the sent email if we were to reply from my business email and let's say i reply from the group email here is a reply right i can also send a reply there when i send a reply here from the group email it's going to show up in the email of the person who sent it here we go great so my first email was sent and then the reply came back to me it came from test sending email now it's putting that reply in the group but it's coming from the group email account there we go so if i want to see where all the sent email is i just need to go into each one of these conversations and see what was sent from the group email i hope that answers the question for this person because all of the emails related to anything to do with this group basically all show up in this one place so you've got all of them in the one spot and that is what gives you access if you liked this video we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much much more